Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to find a fraction of a whole number. And as you can see, there are four examples on your screen there that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So for number one, we have two-fifths of ten. Now whenever we're taking a fraction of a whole number, a fraction of a mixed number, or even a fraction of a fraction, we can turn this into a multiplication problem. So I'm going to come below here, two-fifths, and literally just change my of to a multiplication sign. Now I'm going to put my whole number over one, that way I have a top, a numerator, and a bottom, a denominator, and I'm able to multiply straight across. You can always put a whole number over one and it does not change the value of that problem or that number. So in order to multiply these fractions, I just go straight across. Two times 10 is 20. Five times one is five. So I get 20 fifths, but I don't wanna leave it as an improper fraction. So I need to do 20 divided by five and get this into a mixed number, or it might work out to be just a whole number. So 20 divided by five, how many whole groups of five can I pull out of 20? Well, four, and that hits 20 exactly, so I don't have anything left over, and the answer to this problem is four. So two-fifths of 10 is four. Let's go to number two, one-third and then change the of, let's change it to a multiplication problem, nine. And remember, we can put our whole number over one, that way we have a numerator and a denominator. One times nine is nine, three times one is three, so I get nine thirds. And here, I could do nine divided by three. How many whole groups of three can I pull out of nine? Well, three. And that hits nine exactly, so I don't have anything left over, and my answer is just a whole number. So one third of nine is three. So let's do number three here, where we have three eighths of 24. And I'm going to show you a different way to do number three, now that we have the multiplication way down. So I'm going to actually do the multiplication first, and then the other way. So three eighths, times 24 over 1. Well, 3 times 24 is 72. 8 times 1 is 8. So now we get to this point where we have 72 over 8, and that's an improper fraction, so we need to do 72 divided by 8 and see how many whole 8s we can pull out of 72. And the answer to that is nine, and there's nothing left over. So our answer for three eighths of 24 is nine. Now, the other way we can do this is we can divide first. You can take 24 and divide by eight. So that would give us what one eighth of 24 is. So we can divide first and then multiply it by that top number. So again, we can do 24 divided by eight. That would give us what one eighth of 24 is, but we need three of those. So then you would multiply by three. So 24 divided by eight is three. Then multiply that by three to get three eighths. And three times three is nine. So we got the same thing. So you can divide first and then multiply by whatever the numerator is. So let's do number four. So we could do the multiplication way and we get two sevenths times 14. Two times 14 is 28 and seven times one is seven. We have an improper fraction so we need to do 28 divided by seven which is four and two-sevenths of 14 is four. Or the division way, first, we could do 14 divided by seven, and that would give us what 
1 7th of 14 is and that actually equals 2 14 divided by 7 is 2 right I take this 14 divide by that 7 and then multiply by how many sevenths I want and I want 2 sevenths so I need to multiply 2 times 2 which is 4 I get the same answer either way so there you have it there's how you find a fraction of a number we can create a multiplication problem and multiply or we can divide first and find for example number four we found out what one seventh of 14 was first which is two and then multiply by whatever the numerator is so if one seventh of 14 is two then we can multiply that by two to get what two sevenths is so that would give us four okay so again there's how we find a fraction of a whole number hopefully that helped until next time peace